Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I want to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Soyuz landing. Soyuz MS-17 will be bringing an American astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts safely back from the International Space Station. Like all Soyuz missions, this spacecraft will land near the remote town of Jezkazgan in Kazakhstan. With the hatch on the spacecraft being closed at 6.10 p.m. Eastern Time, undocking from the Poisk module on the International Space Station is slated for 9.34 p.m. on Friday, April 16th. Shortly after separating from the International Space Station, the Soyuz spacecraft will carry out a few maneuvers to distance itself from the orbiting outpost. With those maneuvers complete, the Soyuz spacecraft will begin making preparations to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. A few hours later, it will carry out a deorbit burn. This burn puts the spacecraft on a course that will lead it into Earth's atmosphere and ultimately home. Shortly after the deorbit burn is completed, the three segments of the Soyuz spacecraft will separate from one another, with only the descent module surviving the fires of re-entry. After separating from the other two segments of the spacecraft, the descent module will orient itself so its heat shield is pointed forward. The spacecraft will then endure the heat of atmospheric re-entry, including a short plasma blackout where the ground is unable to communicate with the crew on board the spacecraft. After emerging from the plasma blackout and the fires of re-entry, the Soyuz spacecraft will re-establish communication with the ground, and shortly after that deploy its drogue pair Parachute. This parachute slows the spacecraft down slightly and orients it properly for the release of the main parachutes. As the spacecraft approaches the ground, the main parachutes and heat shield are deployed. Now descending under the main parachutes, the crew seats will move into position to allow them to land softly on the hard ground of Kazakhstan. At about 12.56 a.m. Eastern Time, a series of rocket engines that were hidden under the heat shield are fired to buffer the spacecraft's impact with the ground. Once Soyuz is on the ground, Russian recovery crews will rush into position to remove the crew from the vehicle. So if you want to keep up with Soyuz MS-17's return from orbit, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel where I'll be live streaming both the undocking and the landing. And I'll leave a link to my Twitter where I'll post up-to-date information on Soyuz MS-17 as well as other current events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about Soyuz MS-17 or the landing process for the Soyuz, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them down there. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.